everybody, it's Sunny from the Rock Springs Library. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Somewhere with Sunny, where we read a book and then go on an adventure somewhere in Sweetwater County. Today's book is called Bear Feels Sick by Karma Wilson. The bear books are some of my favorite. If you've ever been to a story time at the Rock Springs Library, I know that you've heard a few of these. So Bear Feels Sick. Alone in his cave, as the autumn wind blows, Bear feels achy with a stuffed up nose. Have you ever had a stuffed up nose? That's no fun, is it? He tosses and he turns, all huddled in a heap. Bear feels tired, but he just can't sleep. He sniffs and he sneezes, he whiffs and he wheezes, and the bear feels sick. His friends gather round, Come out, bear, and play. But bear shakes his head. I am too sick today. Mouse mutters, oh my, bear's head is too hot. Hare says, we will help. Here's a warm, cozy spot. Bear mumbles and he moans. He grumbles and he groans. And the bear feels sick. Mouse squeezes bear tight and he whispers in his ear, it'll be just fine, your friends are all here. Badger fetches water, Gopher cooks the broth, while Mole soothes Bear with a cool, wet cloth. They cover Bear up and he drinks from a cup, but he still feels sick. Raven says, caw, come along, Owl and Wren, Let's go gather herbs to bring back to the den. They coax Bear to sip just a smidgen of tea. He'll feel better soon, says Mouse. Wait and see. Bear shakes and he shivers. He coughs and he quivers and he still feels sick. The friends fuss and fret. The friends cook and care. They keep a close eye on their poor, sick bear. They all talk in whispers and they walk on tippy toes. They sing lullabies and then bear starts to doze. They watch bear for hours. We've done all we could. Then the bear wakes up and bear feels good. Bear cries, I'm all better. I'm feeling like new. I'm not hot and achy. It's all thanks to you. Let's celebrate now. Let's go out and play. Let's jump in the leaves. Let's frolic all day. The mouse starts to wheeze and hair starts to sneeze and the friends feel sick. Bear murmurs, don't worry, and tucks them in bed. He bundles them up and he kisses each head. He tells all his friends, soon you'll feel like new. You took care of me, now I'll take care of you. Who takes care of you when you don't feel good? Is it your mom or your dad? Maybe your grandma or your grandpa? Where do you think you would go if you weren't feeling very good? Would you go see a dog catcher? Would that help you feel better? Hmm. What about an archeologist? Would digging in the dirt make you feel better if you weren't feeling good? Why don't you tell me your guess and we'll check here in just a second. Bye guys. today at the Best Care Family Practice. And this is Misty Stacy. She's awesome. She's an FNP. Do you guys know what FNP stands for? It stands for Family Nurse Practitioner. Miss Stacy, can you tell us what that means? That means I am a nurse that went and did some extra education and I can treat patients from diapers to diapers. I take care of them for every part of their health care needs. That's awesome. So things you can do at the doctor's office. You can see if you're tall enough. You can see if your knees work. 
You can get, can we get shots here? You can't get immunizations here, but we can do some shots. Ooh. And we do refer to community nursing for the immunizations. There you go, so no shots here. So this is definitely the place you wanna come, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that's where all the cool kids are. And I happen to know from experience, because I've been here with my daughter, you get a sucker when you leave. Miss Stacy, what did you want to be when you grew up? I have always wanted to be a nurse um, from the time I was very young. And then I actually, my original goal coming out of high school was to go to med school. I wanted to get some experience as a nurse first and then go into medical school, but I ended up getting married and having some kids in med school. It wasn't really a choice at that time, so I, this was as close as I could get. Very cool. Do you like being a nurse? I love it. It is what I've done for 27 years, and I've been a wow. nurse practitioner for seven. Are any of you 27 years old? She's been a nurse longer than you've been alive. That's pretty impressive. She must know her stuff. That's what that tells me. So what is your favorite animal, Miss Stacy? My favorite animal would be a dog. I have three of them myself. You have three. Do you guys have any dogs at home? How many do you have? I have one. Oh, Miss Stacy has three. You know, show me those fingers. Three. Look at that. What was your favorite book when you were growing up? I didn't really enjoy reading myself, but I read to my kids all the time. And my favorite book to read then was the No David or the David series. Yes, by Shannon. No, mm -hmm. David. Do you guys remember those? We have a lot of those at the library. So if you haven't checked them out yet, you can come check out Miss Stacy's favorite book anytime you want. How long did it take you to become a nurse? Was there any special education you had to have? I first had to go to nursing school, which I was a diploma nurse, so I went to school in a hospital for three years. Wow. Then I worked at as a nurse, including in the emergency room and the operating room. I was a dialysis nurse for 15 years before I finished my bachelor's degree, which took a year and a half, and then I finished my master's degree, which ended up taking three years. Wow, that's a lot of schooling. It is. Do you have any advice for kids that think they might want to be a nurse when they grow up? I will tell you this, it's a great profession that you can travel all over the world and get a job. You can do so many different things. You don't have to take care of patients hands-on. You can do anything from the computers to figuring out, like charting and that. The biggest thing is just to treat people like you would want to be treated. Wow, so that's really interesting. There are lots of different ways to be a nurse. I don't know, I didn't know that before. Did you guys know that before? That's really cool. Well, Miss Daisy, thank you so much for letting us barge into your clinic and hang out with you for a little while. You're very welcome. Thanks for stopping by and come by anytime. Absolutely. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.